All right, guys, we are back to it. Um, I took a pretty substantial break, so I would definitely give yourself at least like two hours or even overnight um, to see the full progress of this experiment. But as you can see, colors have started um, kind of melting together, which is really cool. Let's see if I can move the computer. Do, 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 do. What's the best way to do this, Maggie? Okay, so we have originally, which was red, and this was an empty cup, is now turned orange. The yellow cup right here, um, and the blue cup right here, this was an empty cup and it is now turned green. Moving down here, this was the blue cup, this was a red cup, and now this cup right here is purple. Can you guys believe that? So, what we originally thought, I say we, but it really was me, mostly, is that our, um, we kind of predicted that um, there wouldn't be any changes, that all the colors would stay the same. I was curious of how, you know, the colors were actually going to get into the other cups. And after giving it enough time to kind of get saturated in the paper towel and get everything moved over, I can't believe that it's basically created a rainbow, which is so cool, right? So on here, what we would do is we would finish this up by coloring in that not only did it change from the red, yellow, and green, um, the red, yellow, and blue, sorry. I would probably put the new colors in here. So this one would be orange, this one would be green, and this one would be purple. So that's what I would do here um, on my observation sheet, okay? So that is a pretty cool scenario, guys. That was a really cool experiment. Um, if you're curious of why that was even, um, why that happened or not, I have a little explanation here for you, okay? I know I'm not a super scientist, and so I wanted to be sure to pull um, up um, some reasoning of why this actually worked, why this rainbow was created, okay? So the water moves up the paper towels through a process called capillary action, okay? Can you say that? Capillary action. The paper towel is made from fibers and the water is able to travel through the gaps in the fibers. The gaps in the fiber or the gaps in the paper towels act like capillary tubes and pull the water upward. This is what helps water climb from a plant's roots to the leaves at the top of a plant or a tree. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. The water is able to move upward against gravity because of the attractive forces between the water and the fibers in the paper towel. Wow. So we all kind of learned something today, okay? So if people ask you, hey, how did you make this beautiful rainbow? You can say, you know what? It has something to do with capillary um, action, which is really cool. And it's something that we have learned together. Well, thank you guys for coming and joining me again in this awesome science experiment. Let me know in the comments if there's a specific science experiment you are looking forward to or um, something that you wanted to try that maybe we've tried in the past um, and you would like to do again. But um, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for visiting today. See you later.